Well then, so Mar, I, I think J Bar is going Marth based on the hand warmer. Um, I know a lot about this matchup. Uh, so yeah, he's going Marth. Oh, I'm gonna say it. Luigi is kind of like a rook in chess. <laughs> <laughs> Hell, heck yeah. Um, which is a meme because it gets said so much. But basically, Luigi, his main thing is his wave dash because he has really low traction, so he slides super far. I like that. Yeah. I like that. Um, but Marth has a sword, and his down tilt takes up a lot of space on the ground, so it really oh, stuffs the wave oh, dash. But clean. but yeah, yeah. Luigi's punish game pretty good. So the big thing in this matchup is that Luigi can move very quickly horizontally across the stage with his long wave dash, but he has very, very bad aerial drift. So if J-Bob can get him into the air, he can make it yeah. um, really hard for Luigi to get down, and he'll attack on the big percent. Yeah, Marth isn't going to do like big combos on Luigi, but if he throws him up, the sword's just so disjointed and big that Luigi can't hit him. like. When Marth just See, sticks out a sword. Very him, so. quickly explain what a wave dash is, because you're going to be seeing a lot oh, of it. Yeah. This set. Uh, you, yeah. ju so, you jump, yeah. and then you use a directional air dodge to slam yourself into the floor, which makes you slide. Yeah. And depending on which character you play, they either have really short wave dashes or long wave dashes or anything in between. Luigi's is by far the longest in the game. That's like his most strong trait. So when you see it, uh, Hoborg like sliding around the stage like there's no tomorrow that's what Luigi's all about because he has very very low traction he's very slippery yeah and not only is it faster in some cases like Luigi's um, but when you're sliding you're technically just standing um, so while you can't do some moves when you're running you can do any move when you're standing um, so it lets you use move while pretty much still having all your moves available to you so that's why it's like really important Oh, God. Yeah. Jago's Hoborg's just also really good at this matchup. It's really bad for Luigi, but he's played it so much and he's so good that he's got a ton of experience. Yeah. Hoborg, um, Penn State alum, and also recently ranked number 10 in all of New Jersey. Well, New I don't Jersey. think anymore because of the recent one, but yeah, he's, he's still, he's still like, yeah. he's still like, He's one of the best New Jersey players, period. Yeah. So for if anyone's watching and isn't very familiar with Netplay, it's typically a game you play on, you know, old Nintendo hardware. You you need a Wii and like a CRT TV. Mm -hmm. Um but people have worked very hard and very tirelessly to bring us an online version of the game with incredibly good net code. Um so basically what that means is like you guys have all experienced lag in online video games. This is essentially creating it to have the best possible connection between two players and like the closest to playing real in-person melee as possible. Yeah. I think at Which low is... pigs, like they're probably playing the same amount of delay as they would be playing sitting right next to each other in real life. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Which is it's, it, insane. Just for all intents and purposes, it's, it's the same. Yeah. It's just it's so yeah, when I, when I say for all intents and purposes the same, that means like the same. Melee players are very picky yeah, about Like literally the frame own. delay is the exact same. It, it's a 60 frame per second game. If one frame is off, People somebody's making mad. a storm about yeah. it. <laughs> so if you're interested, you know, if you play a game and you're tired of just getting bodied by lag, maybe uh, Super Smash Brothers Melee... <laughs> Flippy netplay is the game for you, you know? Yeah. <laughs> it is one of the best online experiences, I think. In, yeah. Like, in a game in general. Um, and it's only getting better, too. The guy yeah. who created this is still constantly updating it and working tirelessly to make yeah. it even better, which I don't know how it can get better. Yeah, we just got teams I mean, I mean, a little bit ago. He's doing it for free. He's doing it for free. Yeah. Well, what he has a Patreon, but yeah, pretty much. He does it for the love of the game. Yeah. For the love yeah, of the yeah, game. yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's not, like, part of some company that's employing him to do this. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, something that I noticed J-Bob did earlier, which is I think a thing that Mars do a lot because they think it's going to work and it never does, is they F throw Luigi pretty much any time. I don't think, unless you're at the very edge of the stage, up throw is always better. Um, I would, Crike, 
makes the F throw work. I watched him keep Jacob in the corner of the stage for like 60 seconds straight with yeah. just F throws. But I think you do you do have to be a good player, and I think at the lower levels, up throw is definitely the best. Yeah, player. yeah. I mean, like, yeah. Because some I think a lot of Mars they'll try to F throw in like the middle of the stage, and then they'll try to like get a tipper F smash or like a dash attack or something, which can mm. work. Um, but the positional advantage of throwing up is just so good. Yeah, like, you, it's basically against Luigi, you have to decide if you want to pressure him vertically or horizontally. So you can wait and, like, play more passive and give up stage, and then wait for a chance to, like, pop him up and then abuse his bad aerial drift. Or you can try to keep him in the corner where he can't get as much out of these big wave dashes because you're just right in his face throwing out hitboxes. Yeah. Yeah, another thing about wave dashing, it does have lag, so once you land from the air dodge, um, it's like, what, 12 frames or something? Yeah, you, 12 you're or just stuck in lag. Um, yeah, because wave dash is a 15 frame commitment with a 3 frame jump squad. Yeah. So, and I think it, yeah. it should probably be explained, um, when we say lag in, in terms of frame data, we don't yeah. mean, like, internet lag. The lag refers to a state where the player can't really do anything. Yeah. yeah, so if I wave dash, once I land, there's just 12 frames where I can press a button and absolutely nothing will happen because I'm still, like, the game reads me as still being in, like, a wave dash state. Yeah. yeah. The good that's thing a, is that's that a common thing in all fighting games. Window, and as we're talking about this, <laughs> Cobord convincingly yeah. to owing Jay Bobison. <laughs> um, oh, okay. Uh, boop, bring in Hoborg in here. He's deafened, but oh, there he is. Um, He'll be back. <laughs> hey, Jack, I know we just put you on stream, but you, Fancris, would be a great set to put on stream. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Would be it. Or, or, or Ian to switch oh, up the players. Oh, we just started. I'm sorry. Okay, yeah. that's all good. Don't worry about it. Uh, it's recording yeah, somewhere. We could do Jack again. That's fine. Um, yeah. yeah. Let me show off the stats. Um, yeah, the openings the per kill, very different. That's a big factor. Ah, Jacob, you're playing a Falco. I don't I don't want to see that. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Ew, get off my screen. Okay. I have Jack. I have your gameplay. I think. Wait. Right. Yeah, okay, I have it. Uh, so you right guys... now, we're yeah, so you guys can start uh, giving